Hello, this is Isaac, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Lightbox component with Vue.js. I'm using here the Vue CLI, and for styling, I'm using Tailwind CSS. I'm not going to go over how to use them. There's plenty of tutorials about them. I'm just going to focus here on the Lightbox. In the description, there's a link to a GIST with the full component code. Okay. So let's begin. And so this is the app.view component. It comes with the Vue CLI. I created an empty lightbox component here. Okay, nothing yet. I'm importing it here, registering it here, and I'm calling it here. And I also have here an array of images, just a few images, so we can have something to play with. And basically, a lightbox is just a way to allow you to navigate between images. It's a very popular in e-commerce site when you want to navigate between products and to increase sales. That's a very good marketing technique. And so this is what we're going to do here. And Vue makes it very, very easy. And you'll see why. So let's start writing some code. So first, what do we need to get for this component to work? And these would be the props. So Lightbox usually starts with a thumbnail. So pretty much you're going to have like an image here. You click on it and then the Lightbox shows. And then it's going to show you all the images and one by one, of course, and you're going to have to navigate between them. So we're going to have a thumbnail, which is going to be just the initial image. That's going to be the what will activate the light box. And it's going to be just a string. It will be required. And we're going to have an images. This is going to be an array, and it will be required as well because you know there's nothing nothing much to do with a light box if we don't have these these both of these. Okay. So, what next? So we get the thumbnail and we get the images. First, let's save this and let's see if we're getting any kind of error. Let me refresh this page. Yes. So. Let me see that it's running. Yeah, okay. Um, so we have here an error that we're missing the thumbnail and the images. That's because that they are required and I'm not passing them here. So this is a good prop validation. So first, let's just pass them so we won't get any error anymore. So the thumbnail is just going to be the first image. So it's going to be index zero. Um, and the images is just going to be the images. That's all. We save this, let me refresh, no errors, and we can see it here, the view dev tools, and these are the images, perfect. Okay. So now we need to manage state somehow, okay? So everything here in this data is also reactive, so every time it changes, view is going to re-render the DOM, which is makes managing state very easy for us. So first we need to define whether the light box is visible or not. Default is going to be not to be visible. And then which image we're going to show at the moment. Okay, so the light box is visible, which image we're going to show to the user. That's going to be the index. And the default is going to be zero, which is basically the thumbnail. That's the default. Okay, that's all the data that we need to, to manage here. Okay, whether the light box is visible or not, and which image we're going to show which is going to be just the index. So it's going to be images index. So now for the behavior part. So we're going to need to have a few methods. So first the basic, okay, we need to handle the visible part. So we're either going to show it or hide it. So it's that easy. This that visible true. And since it's reactive, View is going to re-render the DOM and it will be reflected properly. Hide, you can guess what we're going to do here. It is not going to be visible. False. And we're also going to set the index to zero because we want to reset everything. Okay, so if the user hides the light box and then opens it again, we want to show the first image, okay? So now this is for the visible part. Now we need to control which image we're going to show. So for that, we need to ha have some kind of a functionality to navigate to go next, previous, you know, next image, previous image. 
and we're going to do that but first we want to also check what do we have next in previous images okay because we don't want to just go next if we don't know if there's a next image so first i'm going to define these methods so equal one whether it's less than the length of the images so if this is true then we know that we have a next image here we're going to return this dot index and minus one is it big bigger or equal than zero if that's true then we know that there is a previous image So here, so we're simply going to check if we have a next image, then we're simply going to increment the index. And so this is why it's important to have both of these methods, because if I'm just going to blindly increment it, we're going to get an error eventually, because we're going to hit an index that doesn't exist. So that's not good, not good for us, not good for our users. You can imagine what I'm going to do here. So basically if it has prev, and I'm going to decrement this, okay? So this is basically most of the functionality part here. And you can see how easy this is, okay? And all we have to do is just change these values. And it's just going to work. So now let's, I'm just gonna paste here the HTML part and I'm gonna go over it. And let's see right here. And I'm also gonna paste a few minor styling that I couldn't do with Tailwind, at least most of them. Just a basic, just to handle the background for the light box and uh, this part also can't be done with, light, with uh, Tailwind. So first of all, let's save this and I'm gonna go over it one by one. So first, this is the thumbnail, okay? You can see it here, this is the thumbnail and the light box is not visible yet. So this is the thumbnail part, very basic. No, uh, so if the user clicks on it, uh, we're going to prevent default, of course, because it's a link, and uh, we're going to show the light box. So what the show does is going to make the visible to be true. So we have here, this is the, this is the light box part. Currently it's hidden because you see we have V if visible. Currently it's false, so it's not visible. But once this is gonna become true, the reactivity of view would re-render the DOM and it will become visible. So if I click on it and it's visible and this is the first image because the index is zero as we talked about. Okay. And you see here that visible is true. So let's go over here. Now, this is just the uh, X button. As you can see, all these classes here is just for styling for Tailwind. And you know, if we click on it, we're going to hide it. If we also click on the light box itself, we're going to hide it. So if I click here on the sides, it's going to be hidden, okay? Or if I click on this. Let's begin here. So here, this is, you know, display flex. So this is the left arrow. So the previous arrow, this is the image that we're showing here, images index, currently at zero. And this is the next, okay? So it's very simple here, okay? So if I click here, I stop propagation and then I go to the previous image. The reason I'm stopping propagation because if I'm not and I click here, then it will propagate and the click event would propagate to this element and then it's going to just close it. So we don't want that to happen. So we're stopping the propagation and then we're hitting the prev method and we have here a class. So notice here you're, you're not seeing it because there's no previous image. We're in the first image. So we're giving it a, an invisible class. So we have a conditional class here. Okay, if there's no previous image, just give it an invisible class, which Tailwind, it's, it's, it's a Tailwind class, which sets the visibility to hidden. That's simple. And this is just the SVG part. So if I click here, for example, now you'll see it, right? So I have now a previous image. So I click on it. Okay, so that's simple. If I click on it, go to the previous image. Here also we are stopping propagation because if I click on the image with the mouse, I don't want to shut down the uh, light box, okay? Only if I click outside, I want to do it. Not if I click on the tiger itself. And again, this is for the next, okay? It's that easy, right? I just explained it to you. You click here, we're going to the next image. 
and uh, if there's no image, we're not going to show it, okay? It's going to be invisible. It's that easy, okay? So this is pretty much the basic functionality and, and uh, of a lightbox. Look how easy this is to do it with Vue.js. I mean, if you had to do it manually with vanilla JavaScript here or jQuery, um, first of all, you're just going to need to register manually all these event listeners and manage the state by yourself and replace the images by yourself. So here, all we're doing is just changing the index. So you can see here, I'm changing the index and the image just changes. That's the reactivity of view. That's what makes view so nice. And the code is very readable. That's the power of view templates. But we are not done yet, okay? Because we wanna give good user experience to our users. And most of them will also try to navigate with their keywords, with their keyboard. I mean, so you know, right, left. Now, unfortunately for this specific part, we're going to have to manually interact with the DOM and I'll explain why. I can do here key down and I can do a right, which means next. Okay, so if the user clicks on the right, we're going to go to the next uh, image. Let me just refresh everything. So let's see, right, see this is, I'm using here the keyboard and it, and it works. But if now I'm using the mouse to click on the image and then I click again, it doesn't work. The reason it doesn't work is because this div lost focus. Now the image is in focus, not, the, not, not this div. So using these are just going to be buggy and just not going to work if the user uses his mouse also as well. So we can't use the, these. So what are we going to do here is for this, this is kind of like one of the edge cases that we actually have to deal with the DOM here. but. We're only just adding an event listener, okay, for the window. So key down, key down, and this method, I'm just gonna paste it. It's just a bunch of case statements. And I'm just going to check if it's arrow right, next, arrow left, previous, and if it's escape, also, that's also nice to add, we're gonna hide it. So now, let me refresh, okay, it's a hot reloading. So if I, if I click using the mouse, and, and now I'm not focused on that div, but it doesn't matter because the, events are on the window okay so now i can use i'm using here my keyboard to navigate and if i click escape it's working right escape escape right right left left perfect and i can just use the mouse if i want to now and that's that's pretty much the basic core functionality of a light box okay you have the navigation of course you can make it fancier you can change the design you can remove this to put up here or you can show all the images below and let the user navigate directly to an image. But the basic functionality is all you, all you have to do is whether decide whether the uh, light box is visible or not. And the index, which image you're going to show at the moment. And you can see here, this is very little code. Now, Vue allows you to write such less code because it takes so much worry from you. Okay, It deals with the DOM for you. It manages the state for you. Okay, so. The DOM is changing because of, as, as a side effect of me changing these data, okay? I, I don't remove the image from the DOM by myself for code, I don't. All I'm doing is just changing the index and the image changes. If I wanna shut down the light box, I'm just gonna change visible to true. And V will re-render and it will see V if, oh, okay, it's not visible, then I'm not gonna show this element. It's not gonna be in the DOM. Right, so this is how easy it is to use Vue. This is why I like it, and really. So I hope you enjoyed it, okay? And have a great day.